Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. I'm using a new paint color today and some rainbow flakes. I'll leave a complete list of all the items that I use in my description box below and I will point them out as I'm using them. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is put a base coat of white on my canvas because I'm going to be using white pearl later on. This is just a craft smart white. Doesn't matter what white you use. And this is an 18 by 24 inch canvas. Okay, and now I'm going to let that completely dry. Okay, so my two main paint colors are White Pearl Craftsmart, it's a metallic. And this is a new one that I have, it's Bright Brass Deco Art, also a metallic. And I'm just going to take a pencil because I want to make it wavy across my canvas. And I'm going to take my bright brass first. Now obviously I can't tape this off. You can buy painter's tape now that it's stretchy. But I don't have any on me and I don't really need it for this project. Okay, and I'm just going to take my brush get my brush strokes as straight as I possibly can. Okay, now I don't think that I need to wait for this to dry. Now I'm going to put on my white pearl. Just get up as close as I can to the bright brass. Okay, the paint is all dry on my canvas, and so now I'm going to go through all of the items that I'm going to be using in my next step. I have some bright gold crushed glass bits from Laura's Art Corner. And this is a new glitter that I got from Michael's. It's Recollections. It's called Rainbow Flakes, and it's basically gold leaf in different colors. So I want to pull out some of those colors. And I've got Teal Topaz Folk Art Metallic, 
festive green metallic deco art, amethyst folk art metallic, my bright brass, and then this is just pearl craft smart. I ran out of the white pearl that I used for my piece, so this is really close enough. And I'm going to be using my gloss super heavy gel. So the first thing that I want to do before I add my gloss gel to my canvas is kind of break up the rainbow flakes. Just to get them ready to add to my gel. This is so pretty. Look at all the different colors in there. Okay, and then I'm going to take my gloss super heavy gel. And this is Artist Loft. Put some on my plate. Take my pearl white. Okay, and I have a palette knife here. And I'm going to follow where my two pink colors meet. Going to go over the edge. Okay, and now I have four different colors, so I'm going to put four dollops of the gel. I'll take my teal topaz. My festive green. My amethyst. And my bright brass. And what's nice about the gloss gel is when it dries, it dries shiny and there's lots of time to work with it before it dries. For now, I just want to add the different colors. Just going to give my palette knife a quick wipe.
Okay, and then I'm going to take the bright gold crushed glass bits from Laura's Art Corner. And my rainbow flakes. Okay, the gloss gel is all dry and I'm going to clean this off and then move on to the next step. Okay, so my piece is all cleaned up and I am loving the color combination of this. And now I'm going to outline my icicles in extra fine gold glitter recollections. And I meant to mention when I was making my icicles with my gloss gel, I was trying to keep them as narrow as possible because when I go to outline them in the gold glitter, it's going to make them wider, right? So I'm going to be using my TriArt liquid glass. I just have it in a little squeeze bottle here. It's a little needle nose squeeze bottle. And you could use Elmer's glue for this. I just have a small craft brush. Now I have to do this in sections, otherwise my liquid glass is going to dry.
Okay, this is all dry and I'm going to brush my gold glitter off. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. I am so loving the colors in this piece. Oh my goodness. Bring you in nice and close here. Those rainbow flakes, you can use any color that's in them. And I love outlining my icicles in a different glitter. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. It feeds the algorithm and it lets me know that you enjoy this type of a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.